Okay. Our office was over here, right? Ah, good morning, Neil. Hey, Saito. Gary told me you had some new intel for me. Indeed. I put everything on our pin board over there. Let me give you a quick overview. First, I assembled some basic information on James Moore and his wife. Second, I managed to pull their recent bank statements. Maybe you'll find something useful in there. That's all I could get my hands on for now, but I got more coming tomorrow. And third, I took a look at the CV of the guy who fired you, who fired at you, Albert Cox. And guess what I found? He's a Stavit and he grew up on Drovia. Oh, that's a surprise. I suspected he was working with the Liberators. Well, who knows? He still might. What's also interesting is that he changed his name 20 years ago. Shoot, we're running late to that meeting with the Chief. Let's go. I'll tell you the rest on the way. Cox was born as Albert Bolton. His parents owned a big company at the time, Bolton Security Services. They were responsible for the safety of the Savian Colony on Drovia. You mean Sector 2? The one that blew up 40 years ago? Exactly. Bolton Security was sued into oblivion over the incident and eventually went bankrupt. When Cox had finished school, he changed his name and moved to Gara. That's when he founded his own security company using some grant money. Thank you, Saito. Great work as always. Oh, it's nothing. I just did some advanced browsing. Uh, before we go in, I need to ask. Is everything alright? You look... not great. Didn't get enough sleep lately. Thanks for asking. I think everyone's here. Let's start. Thank you all for coming. As many of you know, I've been working for CDI for 28 years now. I've done everything in my power to defend the values our plan stands for. Principles of freedom, tolerance, equal rights for everyone, and justice have been guiding all of my actions. I've always been proud of our work and our commitment to the Garian democracy. Sadly, the path of justice isn't always clear and we have to make difficult decisions. The murder of Joseph Banny has severely harmed the relationship between our planet and Drovia. It puts the fragile peace in our solar system at risk. What? What does? Why is he talking like this? <laughs> is he resigning? I think he's resigning because the the DA is there. But also, he's someone has prepared this for him. Domestic terrorism division was charged with protecting Banny under my leadership. In light of our failure to do so, the Attorney General and I have agreed that the only appropriate response is for me to resign from my duties at the CDI effective immediately. I hope that the separatist groups on Drovia will consider this a sign of sincere remorse and of our intention to make up for the damage that has been done. I enjoyed working with all of you and I wish you nothing but the best. I hope that each of you will find your way of fighting for justice. I will still be in my office today if there are any open questions or issues you want to talk to me about. My successor will be announced by the Attorney General in the near future. Starting tomorrow, Agent Long will be taking over my responsibilities until a permanent replacement is found. Thank you and goodbye. Hmm, yeah, somebody's... This AG is pulling the strings. AG is... She's being blackmailed, definitely. Um, just like we are. But she's being blackmailed for something else. So she's definitely not playing on the right team here. We'll look at this board. Where was the pin board at? He, he said to look at... You say there was a pin board here? Is it this one? Is there anything on there? Hmm. That was unexpected. Fuck, I can't believe I'm standing in for the chief. I never thought they would pick me. I have to call my wife. Guess I'll be doing some overtime in the next few days. Don't you think it's strange the AG fired him? I have to admit, she never really liked him. Maybe she was waiting for an opportunity. Someone had to get fired for Benny's death just for the optics, don't you think? Maybe. But the chief always did an excellent job. It didn't have to be him. I'm not thrilled about it either, but we should focus on the Liberator's threat. I don't want to start my new job with a string of terror attacks. Let's recap what we've got so far. Listen up, squad. Time for a little wrap-up. Those are all as surprised as I am about our chief's sudden retirement. However, we need to focus on the Liberators and their plans now. 
Let's go over everything we've got so far once more. Grovius Farr and Minister Banny was shot last night by a sniper who goes by the name of Boyt. Boyt then went to see a woman named Zora, which seems to have been a deviation from their original plan. He convinced her to hand him a stick with the confidential stolen data. Next morning, Boyt met another man to hand him that data. Abraham Gonzalez, CEO of the Drovian company PowerUp. They were able to extract a deleted message from Gonzalez's cell, which proves that someone paid him to fetch the stick and send the data to an unknown address once he was outside the Garion network. This leads us to believe that the data cannot be sent unnoticed via the web, which applies only to the best kept secrets of the Garion government. We don't know who paid either of them, but the message to Gonzalez was sent via an encrypted channel on the Mercurius network. That means that it must be one of the higher ups of a large publicly traded company. We don't know what was on the data stick because we haven't been cleared for access yet. Yesterday morning, an anti savient terror group calling themselves the Liberators publicly broadcast a video in which they claimed responsibility for Banny's murder. They also announced a second attack within 48 hours. The broadcast was sent from the AdSpot building. They operate all the billboards across the city. At the time the video started, the building was being guarded by a Cox security employee. We have reason to believe that the perpetrator was another employee of that same company, James Moore. His wife says that he went on a holiday at Manami Tree Resort, but he never turned up there. They are currently running a plant-wide search for him, but without success so far. The CEO of Cox Security, Albert Cox, opened a fire on an Agent Conrad and myself when we went to arrest him. Why were you arresting Cox? It was an order from the Attorney General. Conrad convinced Cox to surrender. We arrested him and brought him in for questioning. He had been in the process of destroying hard drives before we arrived. Our IT department is currently trying to restore what's left of the data. Do you think that Cox is a key figure behind the Liberators? He certainly is involved with them in some way, but he doesn't have access to the Mercurius network. You have to assume that there is some bigger fish behind Cox. What's also strange is that he is a Savian himself. He grew up on Drovia. Our current priority is to prevent any further attacks. Paul Roy, I want you to support the ongoing manhunt for James Moore. Young, we brought some stuff back from Cox's office. Work your magic on it. Let us know if you find something. Saito, you keep gathering as much information as you can on our prime suspect. Conrad, you should check whether we can establish a motive why Moore would support the Liberators. Take a look at all the evidence we've got, including the information Saito put up on our pin board. We should also have a chat with Cox. We brought him to the interrogation room in the basement. Roger that. We also brought our sniper in for a second round of questioning. We could give it another try and see if we get something out of him. Gonzalez surrounded himself with lawyers. It'll be a while until we can investigate him again. That's all for now. Come back to me when you got something. Wow. <laughs> This is crazy, Pat. Um, let's see what we got here. Bank statement. Uh, just go subscription. Okay. Bible Pharmaceuticals, Pharmaceutics, subscription number 042, rejected insufficient funds in account. 0402, chargeback. Pregnancy test? Salary and his account balance. Whoa, he, so he got $10,000 from his salary from Cox Security Services. Compensation maintenance. Planned maintenance. Oh, okay. He got maintenance on his cyber implants and they compensated him for them. Okay. Uh, salary. What is this subscription to Vival's Pharmaceuticals? It's happening every five, to six, seven days? Every week? Every week he's getting something from there? And it got rejected. Hmm. Interesting. More recent bank statements. Oh, that's right. The pharmaceutical was because she was a... She needs it for her lung thing. So there was a chargeback on one. She missed it for a week. Potentially. Evelyn Moore. Right, James Moore. It's 
fifteen twenty. Um, eighteen twenty two. She lives on Gara, but she was on Themis. The mining professional from eighteen eighteen to eighteen twenty five, which means she met James Moore while she was in the while she was mining on mining complex Hope on Themis and married him during that time. And she got fined for petty larceny in 1824. Which then she stopped working at the um, mining, Millix Mining in 1825. There's no cyber implant. So, they fire her because she had petty larceny? Well, no, she got fined for it. Weird. But she must have been having problems. Wow, there's like three things really close together here. If I hit the right ones. That's her. Ah, oh, here we go. James Moore. Um... So he was junior security professional for Bemel Security Agency Themis. Senior security professional for Cox Security Services in 1822. So he met her while he was a security guy. 1824, fine for bodily harm. Fine for attempted theft. Six months prison for transporting illegal substances. He is... I think he's dealing in whatever pharmaceutical drug she needs because it feels like the bodily harm was he took it out on somebody probably one of the um, managers at her mining thing the attempted theft was probably him trying to get her pharmaceuticals and the illegal substances we know about that one He's got cyber implants, calms brain enhancement, resistance against mind-altering drug, extended field of view, reaction augment, shortened reaction time, increased hand-eye coordination. Hmm. Interesting. Which would make sense, I guess the reaction time and increased hand-eye coordination would make sense for being a security person and even the extended field of view, but the mind-altering drugs resistance? That's interesting. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. We can actually talk to this, uh... You down in the basement too. We want to. Where's the um the sheets here? The data. The data is about the blank that took place on blank and blank. Okay, that's the data they want to get. Moore's motive is most likely something. Emails. New apartment. Sunlight Real Estate. Dear Mr. Conrad, we have found 244 new offers fitting your search criteria. In only a few clicks, you can make your dream home a reality. Take a look today. Uh, layer higher and highest layer. Interior luxurious. Two rooms or more. Your search has been running for 126 days. <laughs> okay. Interesting. Now he did say, talk to, yeah, let's go, before we go down there, let's talk to the chief, because it's optional. Before we do that, let's make sure there's nothing in here to see. I don't think there is, okay. Hello, Conrad. How can I help you? Wanted to say goodbye. It was good working for you. Thank you. I appreciate it. I have to admit, I'm surprised by your decision. It's not like you could have done much more to protect Banny. Come on, Conrad. We both know that it doesn't matter. Heads needed the role for this. Chief. 
Why did we arrest Cox? I mean, it looks like it was the right call. We didn't know at the, know at the time, and why didn't you give us the arrest order yourself? The AG didn't tell me why she wanted to do it, so I refused to give the order. We don't know either. No, it seems like it's classified, same as the information on that stick. I see. That's why she fired him, because he didn't want to do that. Chief. Uh, the AG fired you for something else. I overheard your conversation yesterday. Why are you telling me this? It didn't sound like you were arguing about Banny's death. You were aware that you can be suspended for eavesdropping on your superiors? In fact, it seemed like you were suspecting the AG of something. Is that the real reason why she wanted to get rid of you? This one is out of your league. Disrespect the chain of command. I see. I have to pack up my things now. I wish you all the best for your career at CDI. Thank you. Your cell contacts haven't changed lately, have they? they haven't changed in years. Good. Hmm. I feel like he's going to send me information. Like, he's probably going to... Like, he knows that I know, and he's just going to send me information about what the AG was looking for. Okay, there's nothing up here. I thought there was something up here to interact with because I saw this door was interactable, but I guess not. The only thing would be down in the... Uh, talk to Boyt. Now, if I give him... And here's the question. If I give him this code phrase, which is clearly a code phrase, what's he going to do with it? Like, is it gonna, is he gonna like, does he have like a poison pill or something that he's gonna take or something like that? Like, I'm wondering, or is he gonna give me information? Hmm, all right. I guess we'll have to try it and see. Long time no see. Still not the talkative type, huh? Okay, listen up. Things have changed since we last spoke. I turned off the camera so we could talk freely. The people have kidnapped my daughter to extort me. Last night your friend Zora came to my home to talk to me. Don't get your hopes up. It's about money, not your freedom. Uh, I can arrest Zora any time. Next time she pays me a visit, I can have her arrested. Go away for life based on evidence we have already. They kill your daughter for even trying. Ah, look at that. You know how it feels to care about someone, don't you? So you want your friend free, and I want my daughter alive. Maybe we can help each other. The ball's in your court. What exactly do you want me to do? Looks like I'm pretty much locked up in here. Who are those guys you and Zora are working for? We both know I can't give you any details. We're mercenaries, that's all I can say. Where do they keep Lara? I have no clue. We have a bunch of hideouts in the city and the whole solar system. I don't even know all of them. And the whole... That's a pretty huge organization you're a part of. But we're not just some thugs, we're professionals. Want me to help you? I'll give you one piece of advice. Do what they tell you. If I do while I get her back, we we'll usually keep our end of the bargain. Why, are they blackmail... Well, are they blackmailing you? People who ask you to shoot Banny won't pay them because we prevented the handover. Now they want me to help them get the data back. I see. Well, there's not much I can do for you. Good luck with your daughter. I have a message from Zora. For you. What message? The moon rises in the south. That guy I met at Joris Plaza. He was pretty sure he got his assignment from someone in the Telanium business. You mean Gonzalez? The man you brought the storage module? The man you brought the storage module? The man you brought... Okay, I think that something's wrong with that sentence. Anyway, if that's his name, maybe that'll help you somehow. Thanks for letting me know. Tell Zora that the sun sleeps in the north. I will. Hey, I'll tell her. Good luck with your daughter. I don't think I'll tell her because she has the power to do something about that. And I rather not. So, I got some information from him, which we probably wouldn't have gotten otherwise. Um, where's my logs at? So... Ooh. 
That guy I met at George's Plaza, he was pretty sure he got his assignment from someone in the Talanian business. So it's the mining thing, the mining magnet. So probably the, the head of that mining corporation that uh, we've been looking at. Potentially. So that's a thing. Moore's motive. Well, he can't. He can't be addicted to the drugs because he's got that implant that prevents him from being addicted. So, I think his sick wife is probably his motive. Just thinking between the lines here, but we won't have the information on that right now. Disease treatment, yeah. So they're blackmailing him so that he can get stuff to his to his wife. Most likely, is this basement interrogation, second floor, third floor? Oh, that's actually telling me where to go. <laughs> I'm just now finding that. I'm like, how do I find my way around this place? Talk to Cox. Uh, is he in the? Did he say he was in the basement? I guess he's in the other basement thing here. Let's go see. Let's go see. Yep, here we go. Good afternoon, Mr. Cox. I'd like to ask you a few questions. I'm waiting for my legal team. You fired at my partner and me. Care to explain? I probably don't need to tell you that you didn't make the best first impression on us. Your behavior and your company's involvement in yesterday's broadcast make it look like you're somehow involved with the Liberators. A quick look at your biography showed that you are... Uh, a Saviant. And you grew up on... Uh, Drovia. Yeah, he was the one from the colony. It doesn't make sense... It doesn't make sense... You, that you'd support an anti saviant terror group. 25 years ago, you moved to... Um... Gara, right? Why? Sometimes life forces us to do things we don't want to. You don't like it here? I don't. Why not? Why don't you ask that yourself and your fellow Garians? Consider Drovians your enemy and Stavians backwards radicals. If you have the choice between hiring a Garian or a Drovian, you hire a Garian. All the missions we ever get come from Drovia. Why haven't you gone back then? Because my compatriots are happy to have a reliable partner for their companies here in Gara. We escort their goods, offer them personal security, you name it. Your parents had a security company as well, didn't they? It was responsible for security yet. Uh... I have no idea. Sector 2? But they didn't do such a good job with Sector 2 blowing up and all. You know nothing about my parents. I've already said enough. I'll wait for my lawyers now. Yeah, I think I effed that one up. I think they were Sector 1. Uh, did they actually tell me... I know they told me his parents, right? Um, I definitely screwed that one up. I, I think his parents were, he, I mean, that was a weird thing to bring up it was the parents. Like I never even thought to like think about what his parents did. I have that under clues here somewhere. Uh, no, I think it's, it's up on that pin board, isn't it? Now I gotta know, because I think they were sector one, and I just 
screwed that up entirely. Wait, this is not about them though. This is about... Wait a minute. Did they send me something here? New intel. Some bank statements. He says, Demi and he grew up on Drovia. No, it was Sector 2. The one that blew up 40 years ago? Bolton Security was sued into oblivion of you. Yeah. Well, I was correct. It was Sector 2. It blew up 40 years ago. Blah, blah, blah. Huh. He didn't get... He didn't give me much though. I was kind of expecting a little bit more than that from him. Like it, it, the way it cut off, I felt like it was like I didn't get what I was supposed to get out of him. Submit the sheet on Moore's motive. Which sheet do they want me to... I guess they want me to submit this one. Oh yeah, this one's ready. Um... I, I feel like his motive is his thick white. Based on what I've seen. Like all the clues are leading towards that. Like she had... Stuff there. He has a a subscription to a company for his prescription for her prescriptions. Um, that's just uh, that's that's what I'm getting from. Like his nationalism, possibly, but I I don't think it is, and I know that he's got augmentations that prevent him from getting drug addicted. So, I'm going to say his sick wife is his motive. Alright, talk to Gary. Where's Gary, anyway? Oh, there he is. Conrad, I just read your sheet on more. Looks like a motive can be established. You pay his wife another visit. Didn't seem to know anything yesterday. Maybe she'll tell you more if you confront her with her husband's motive. Roger that. See you there. Okay. Well, I guess we'll see if this does it or not. Oh, I keep missing the stairs. It's packed. The train is packed. The only problem with with this game is I have to put it down and come back to it. Enveloped by the smell of the I'm gonna forget everything. I thought back to the man I had been when Cat had brought me here. How did it all go so wrong? Deep down, I knew the answer. I was just too scared to commit to my family. It was so much easier to care about something that didn't have to like you back. That wouldn't go away if you didn't want it to. For me, that was my job. But ironically, protecting myself like that only made it hurt so much worse. Now that Laura was out of my reach, the pain of being separated was only amplified by the knowledge that I had missed so many opportunities to be with her. Oh, there she is. Hey! Oh, 
Fuck. You startled me. What do you want? Check in with how your investigation is going, but not here. Too crowded. Follow me. Come on. I know a spot. Okay. Oh, is it down here? Oh, okay. I guess that's the only other place. It could be. This is better. The hell are you doing here? Are you following me? I told you I'd get back to you. Anything new on our client on or what they're planning to do next? No. Not yet. I'm still working on it. Are you sure there's nothing you want to tell me? Um, actually, there is. Fine, you got me. Might know where the next attack is taking place. Good. Where is it? I just can't. I can't just tell you that. Well, and I can't protect your daughter if you don't work with us. Can you tell us where and when the attack is taking place? I'd like to have a chat with the people carrying it out. There can't be any CDI at the scene. You're saying your people will prevent the attack? We'll take with us the people who are trying to carry it out. People's lives are at stake here. The CDI needs to intercept that attack. Lara's life is certainly at stake. What are you planning on doing with the attackers? What will happen to them? We'll ask them who they're working for. You'll just ask them and let them go? Don't worry about that. We won't let them go through with their plan. The suspect there will be an attack at the Grand Church at Corian Square tomorrow morning. Is that the truth? What I think is the truth. Good, thank you. Remember not to tell anyone at the CDI. Did what you ask. Are you letting Lara go now? Not yet. Let's wait and see how things play out tomorrow. You want a beer? No. A beer? Are you out of your mind? What? Think I poisoned it or something? But you said humans were good. I have a little faith. I'm not drinking it. Hey, listen. Did you deliver my message? I did. What did he say? He said the sun sleeps in the north. Okay, thank you. What does it mean? A code for something? No. From when we were kids. I've known him for a long time. You know, I thought about what you said. I don't think I'm good, or ever have been. But I will say this. Talk to your daughter today. She's a good kid. I do not like the prospect of her getting hurt. But please, don't mess, the, don't, don't mess up. How can you... Then get her out of there, please. Well, uh... My boss won't let that happen. All in your hand. If all goes well tomorrow and the guy talks, we might get everything we need. If we can't get to the client that way, we'll have to get to the data after all. In that case, you'll have to help us with the hack. The back door was set up successfully from your cell. Let's hope we won't have to use it. I have to admit, that was pretty ballsy of you to protect your partner like that. You could even call it selfless. I don't think there's such a thing. No matter what you tell yourself, at the end of the day, you do what you do for your own gain. Sometimes there's a few layers removed, but in the end, it's all selfishness with extra step. I disagree. This is just a convenient way to justify the fucked up things you do. Nihilism can be used as a shield, just like faith. It's convenient to say nothing matters because it makes being in this world hurt a little less. But even you don't like the thought of harming Lara, do you? I think you're doing your best to ignore your conscience. You'll you'll have to face it at some point. Not if I die first. Well, this has been fun. Break is over. I have some business to take care of. I'll let you know tomorrow how it went. Yeah. Was there something here? One missed message. Hello, this is Ed, the guy from the harbor. Wanted to thank you again for buying me my spot back. Had a beer and a herring tonight with my friends Fred and Quinn. I'll buy you one too if you're ever at the harbor, Ed. Yeah, well, at least we did something there. <laughs> at least we got something, uh, some positive news. Fill up on up on cigarettes we were getting a little bit low <laughs> all right hmm. conrad how did it go any news from moore's wife no not really if moore is behind all this then she doesn't know about it 
Fuck, the attack's going down tomorrow morning and we still have no clue what it's going to be. How is it possible that we don't get a grip on these on these fuckers? Looks like the only thing we could do is ramp up security all over Gara. I hope that they won't go through with their attack. Go home and get some sleep. Talk to you later. They really don't let me... They really not, are not going to let me tell him what's going on. Hmm. Well, that's weird. I thought maybe I could play both sides of it, but apparently that's not a thing. Alright. Well, I guess it's out of our hands now. I felt like shit for letting Zora and her accomplices intercept the attack. There were so many ways this could go wrong. I didn't want them to take more, or worse yet, somehow miss him and let the attack happen. Don't get me wrong, I didn't regret telling Zora what I knew to protect Laura, but endangering the lives of innocent people wasn't an acceptable trade-off. I couldn't tell the CDI, or even call in an anonymous tip with the police, because the chance was too high that Zora would suspect me. There was no other way. If I wanted to make sure things didn't go south, I had to go to the church myself. I left in the middle of the night, hoping it wasn't already too late. There we go. It's like, gotta be something. Like, not just gonna be like, well, not my problem. Korean Square. Or how this is gonna go down. I don't have good feelings about how this is gonna go down. Go. 